G'day Spartans, it's Josty here. On this edition of Obstacle Hack, I'm going to show you a great technique that you can use on the multi-rig, called the side traverse. Now the side traverse works awesome because it allows you to maximise the grip that you have on each one of the rings as you work your way through the obstacle. Now this particular technique you can use on the monkey bars as well, but what you'll find is that it works amazingly well in the wet. Because once again you can maximise that grip. Essentially what we're doing is because we're holding on to the rings with two hands, reaching out and then recovering, reaching out and recovering, you're minimising that time spent hanging in a one arm position. So of course if it's wet, it's just harder to get the surface area to support your body weight from one hand as you're slipping because of a wet and slippery ring. So in the morning when it's dewy or if it's been raining, then utilising this technique can really help you out. So to kick things off, what we do is we grab hold of that first ring and give yourself a little bit of space. So you don't want to grab the centre of the ring, you put one hand on one side and then grab a hold on the other side. Give yourself a little bit of space, so then as we reach through, you kind of want to replicate that. Reaching to the side and then grabbing on the other side. So, jumping up on the starting step, where you reach forward with two hands, and then from there, bent arm position, reach through, grab the next ring, and start traversing your way along. Continue that action of reaching and recovering, staying in a strong bent arm position until you can ring that bell at the end. The side traverse will actually place a greater demand on the arms and the biceps when you're hanging in that bent arm position as you work your way through the rings. So you might want to spend some time in your training, either doing some bent arm hangs with a nice 90 degree elbow, or doing some bent arm monkey traverses on some monkey bars to help yourself out. If you do this, it's going to build some strength to help you out when you come to do this obstacle on race day. Now, by maintaining a bent arm position, it does a couple of things. The first one is it brings you closer to the rings. So then, by being closer, that next one in the series is that little bit closer so we're not reaching further as we go. So it just makes it a little bit easier in terms of bringing the rings closer. The other thing is it creates some stability by creating some tension in the arms as well, which will give you greater control as you work your way through the rings on the multi-rig. Give this technique a shot next time you're out on course and see how it can help you out, especially in those wet conditions.